All right, so this is the high density foam I got for the seats. Now, I just need to, I just need to mark it. Save that. A nice job, John. A nice job. A good job, me. Okay. Ow. Oh, I wasn't even filming it. Oh well. Alright, so I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put, what are they called? Tie downs. I'm gonna put some of these, four of them on each side of the toilet, uh, just so. We can just bungee strap it down while we're on the road so it doesn't fly all over the place. Uh, I'm not really going to film that because it's in the bathroom it's real tiny. And I'm a little big in there so there's not you're not going to be able to see much. So I'm just not going to film it. But putting the four tie downs in. Just using shark bite fittings because that's super simple. That's on. All right. All right. Did we buy the right size cap this time? Yep. I think we did. Okay. Now I'm gonna carefully use some purple primer. cement on, on the inside of the cap. All right, here we got PVC cement on. And now I just need to place the cap on this. It's on there nice and tight. And that's all that's all 
capped. I didn't get any of the had to get any gunk on me, so plus. All right, what am I doing? Um, well, this step, this bolt came loose uh, and broke out and bent. I stepped on the step, so with that not bolted in right, I bent it. So I have the car jack pressing it back up against where it should be. And now I got to figure out a way to make it uh, to make it stay. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, that was pointless. All right, new project is I'm gonna wire brush all this down, uh, get ready to paint. Uh, I'm also probably gonna take off that old propane regulator because I got a new one coming. And also part of that crumbled up, uh, away in my hand the other day when I grabbed it. So uh, I'll probably get that off of there. Alright, I just got the propane line disconnected. Took took a lot more than it needed to. I had uh, I had to use a, a PVC breaker bar. Uh, that's pretty thick PVC. But I just didn't have enough I didn't have enough leverage with this to do it by hand in this tight space. I couldn't I couldn't maneuver myself, but I got it. That took me like a half hour. Honestly, probably like an hour. But now that's disconnected, so that's good. We have a new propane regulator ordered and a new hose, so we'll hook up to the pipe and then uh, we'll test that when that comes in. But for now, I'm gonna finish, uh, like, I don't know, wire brushing this, getting this ready to throw some spray paint on, which I'll do here shortly as well. Just 
gonna lie, it looks a little sketchy. Yeah. That's actually less sketchy. <laughs> First tire has come off and is sitting over there. Now John's working on taking the second one off. How's it going? It's going. Just oh wow. And just like that, she's off. I messed up that transition. I didn't hit record before I started the snap, so we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna spray these wheels. I just wire brushed them all off and then I took the air compressor and got all the little bits off. Uh, probably just show you the aftermath. Alright, the new tires got delivered by FedEx, so John and I are going to take these tires off, take them to a mechanic to get the rims on the new tires, and that's what's happening. The tires are all loaded up in the back of the truck and John's taking them to the mechanic. You can see they're all off the camper right now. It's just up on blocks. Just on blocks. So Johnny just put on the last new tire. Um, we had a little kerfuffle. We only had 19, 19 of the 20, um, what do you call them? Lugs. And positive I counted yeah, 20. Johnny, Johnny was positive that we actually did have 20 but we could not find it and so we put the 19 of them on and then he re-looked in the camper where we had set the other lugs and it was there so magically it appeared where it should have been. Now he's just tightening everything up with the tire iron but yeah don't these new tires look beautiful? Wow amazing. This is the ugly side let me show you the better looking side. <laughs> he spray painted these two. Wow, beautiful. Anyways, we didn't really document putting them back on, but they are they are back on. These fumes are awful. What have you been doing? Oh. Just a little painting? Yeah, smells like you sprayed a whole can. Uh, I've sprayed several cans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest, I suck at spray painting. That's what I've learned on this uh, camper the most. <laughs> Is every spray painting instance? It's not your fourth. That's the frame. The frame looks. The, I don't know. The spray paint seemed to go on metal better. It's not your forte. No. <laughs> and even coating. Uh, that's not something I'm good at. Hold it lower. <laughs> My job is so hard. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, she's just really got the good end of this deal. <laughs> she paid for half, but she did not do half the work. <laughs> I don't think she did close to a quarter. Uh, I may be dead 2%. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I would give myself. <laughs> Maybe one. Yeah. <laughs> But two, two, two felt a little high. Yeah. But, I but, mean, she has been here when I need a two-person job. So. Or sometimes I just want a second person. Or when he wants me to look you at know, the... This doesn't look too bad from a distance. You get a close... Eh. <laughs> Oops. Movie magic. It's off. And there, there it is. is. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, I guess I should put it in the sun. Uh, so I'm going to put the propane thing on. I've been looking all week trying to find the correct adapter. I've been trying to find the correct adapter, which after several trips to Home Depot and us, uh, I bought like four different adapters last time. None of them worked. Uh, it's just been, it's been a pain in the butt. I finally got one today that works and I got to return some others now, but I'm going to get the propane finally all hooked up and then I don't know if I'm actually going to test it today, but I'm just going to make sure it's all connected so it can go and then I'm gonna clean up the inside of the camper uh, I haven't done that much this week uh, basically because everything outside I've had to do everything outside and we've had some crap weather uh, I have most of the frame painted or sanded down and painted uh, I have a little bit under the middle knee under the middle to still get um, but it's looking it's looking pretty good I should have everything done this week I wanted to have everything done by now but I didn't our sticker should be in sometime this week and the rest of the stuff I need for the fabric uh, uh, to sew the seats uh, to sew the seat covers up that should be in tomorrow so hopefully I get this all done but right now I'm gonna hook up the propane <laughs> I've hooked up two propanes. Um, we only bought one regulator. When we want to switch, I'll come out and manually switch it because this was $30 to buy a double one was like 110. So uh, I'll take the five seconds and unscrew it and do the other one when that one's empty. But we got two tanks on, it's looking good. Um, I didn't test the stove, but we turned the propane on. Uh, I admit, <coughs> I had my other sister here helping me. I'm just gonna thing, there's probably a bunch of wind. Uh, but we tested the propane, um, we couldn't smell it anywhere, we ran it for a couple minutes. Uh, we just let it fill the system, so we couldn't smell anything. I got my nose right on that seal down there, the one I just made, I couldn't smell anything. So uh, maybe when we actually turn the stove on, I'll have to come out and see if I can smell anything. But for now, it's looking looking pretty good. Alright, so we're uh, testing the stove out. Um, we're, we're testing on. the stove out, he's turning the propane on. Propane's on. Propane's on. We have a fire extinguisher in case this goes very wrong. Okay. Let's test this first. Okay. This is the back one. I don't hear any propane. I do. Yeah, I hear it. Is this smell like propane? Did you look up how to work these? <laughs> I don't really smell propane, but... Well, this is where it comes in.
hooked up right out there? It should be. Huh. Did you turn it all the way to the end? Yeah. This one is the back one. Okay, it's going now. I think you have to turn it all the way to the back. I don't think you were. To light it, like initially. Uh -huh. Hmm. I don't know why it's lighting now. Maybe when the lid's on, it's not getting the right flow. Where's the... You took the lid off. Behind you? Yeah. All right, let's... Let's see if we can get the light with this on now. Yeah, I think you maybe just weren't going far enough. I don't know, I, I <laughs> opened up the propane even more too. Yeah. I, I put it maybe, fully open. Maybe it just was not getting enough. This is the first time the system's being used. I would probably have to flush the air out of the yeah. system. Now the propane okay. is there. Okay, that one works. That one works. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You probably just had to run through all of the piping. Okay. Now Let's the test oven. Our oven. Okay. I don't really know how we do this. This one? It's a pilot. Oh, okay. This one's underneath. So. Alright, maybe I'll have to look up how, how to light one of these. Short Google. Hold on. What went wrong? We didn't hold it long enough so once we get the pilot lit we're supposed to hold it and hold the gas for another 30 seconds uh for the like main flame to catch after the pilot's lit so let's try again yeah <laughs> okay Lighting. Hey! Woo! Oven! We have an oven! Yep. Alright, we got an, we got a working oven. Now turn it off. Yeah, let's make sure this goes off. Okay, that's all off. Now I'm gonna go shut the propane off outside. And I am just gonna leave this open to cool down. Alright, well. Success. Oven works. Success. Something works. Did we finally get a win? We finally got a win. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Nice job. Oh, I don't know if Johnny showed you. He broke our stuff.